Welcome everyone to the Amazon Cash Machine. This class has been designed to make you money without spending almost any money up front. In fact, you don't have to spend a single penny if you don't even want to because this course is going to show you how you can build your business from scratch using a proven system that actually works. So all you have to do is complete this course, join the Amazon Associate program, which you can do this for free. And then I'm going to be showing you how you can utilize this to make amazing amount of cash online. And you can own up to 10% of any product that you sell. So just think about how much money you can potentially generate with this. If you sell something worth a hundred bucks, you automatically get 10. You sell something worth a thousand bucks, you make a hundred dollars. That's pretty impressive for only selling one product. So it's really up to you how much money you wanna make. So join in inside and start owning money today. Welcome to Amazon FBA. In this section, we'll be covering how you can create an Amazon FBA account and which steps you should go about. Amazon.com made it very simple for you to become a seller. There is no hidden things that you have to do. All you have to go and do is to become a member of the site. To become a member of the site, you just have to register yourself in the account and register yourself as a buyer. That's all you really need to actually do. Once you set up your account as a buyer, then you can easily transform that buyer account into a selling account as well. So the first thing that I suggest for you to do is to go to amazon.com and register as a buyer if you're not already one. A lot of you guys probably are, so it's probably not a requirement for you. Now, some of you might think, okay, if I join Prime, is that going to give me an advantage as an Amazon seller? Well, it's not. It's not going to make any difference. In fact, uh, it has nothing to do with you being an Amazon seller whatsoever. So I suggest for you to do is once you decide you want to become an Amazon seller, all you need to do is press on sell. And that's it. It's that simple. When you press on sell, we're going to have a different menu. As you can see, somebody talks here about that 40% of the profit uh, coming from selling on Amazon. Because definitely Amazon drives a lot of business into every kind of company that it does business with. Amazon is a huge retailer worldwide. It's one of the biggest out there. So what you want to do is to try the one month out for free as a seller and sell as a professional and see how this works for you. Now, I don't recommend you start registering as a seller right after you take this class. In fact, I recommend you test out the products, you get everything ready so you can utilize this one month as best as you can. This is uh, the reason I suggest this for you is that I don't want you to spend any money unless you actually can make money. So once you know that you have products out there that you can sell, you're going to use the free month and be very successful. Once you're ready to be as a successful seller, you're going to start getting profits. It's much better for you to go into this when you already have all the information down. In fact, if you take this course, I don't suggest for you to take this course once. I suggest that you listen to every lecture twice. The reason for that is you want to get everything down, every single thing that uh, this course tells you to do, what not to do, and get everything down, the basics of the business, and write notes on a piece of paper. Because when you have all the basics down and everything covered, once you go through the first month, you'll be successful, a lot more successful than most sellers out there, and you will start making real good cash doing uh, this method after taking this course as seriously as you should, because you're going to make be making a lot of money, and you have to be determined enough to be able to do this and be very profitable at it. So after you press on sell, What's going to happen is it's going to come up to this specific menu and it's going to say register and start selling today. So what we need is they need your business name, address and contact information. Therefore, you have to establish this stuff before you register because it's going to ask you for this stuff anyway. And then it's going to also ask you for your phone number, uh, a credit card and a valid billing address and your tax identity information.
So all this stuff is very important for you and then it's going to ask you for your legal name or whatever the name of your uh, business name instead. So all this stuff has to be covered by you and it has to be all uh, already put down before you're going to start uh, your Amazon FBA business. Therefore, it is important that you don't uh, start the registration until you get everything else down. And then when you get everything else down and everything is ready to start the business, that's when you're going to go about and register as a seller. If you do this before you're ready, uh, they're not going to accept you in their agreement. And because Amazon is supremely picky who it's working with. So you gotta have all the documentation down. You, you can't just go and not have uh, one piece of documentation down right there and they might not do business with you and you definitely don't want them to reject you at all. So you wanna have everything down and ready so you can start doing business with them and start to making money as soon as you're ready with this process. Welcome back to the Amazon cash machine. Now, there was a few things I really want to tell you that is going to exponentially increase the amount of profit you can make on Amazon FBA. First off, I highly recommend that you get a smartphone. A smartphone is definitely essential for your business and here is why. First off, you can always go online and you can check the prices of any product that you're finding in different stores. You're not always going to have an ability to find how much an item is worth and just by buying things that are on sale, it doesn't mean those items are selling for a good amount of money on Amazon itself. This is why it's vital for you to have a smartphone and the amount of money that you're investing in smartphone is going to pay for itself because now you're not going to waste money buying things that may or may not be able to sell on Amazon FBA. So here is a few tips for you that's going to enhance your productivity, especially if you have a smartphone. One of the things you need to do is to go to the App Store and download the Amazon FBA application. There is a bunch of different apps here that you can download. And one of them is the official Amazon Sell application. This is the main one you should actually get. Or you can just get the Amazon app. Those two are the main ones that I highly recommend for you to get. There is other ones here as well that you can try out and see if it works for you. But the most important thing for you to do is to enable to scan the item itself. So some of them like the Profit Bandit, you're able to scan the product and immediately find out how much it's selling on Amazon itself. And then by scanning the product and looking at the barcode, now you know that this item might be worth maybe like 20 bucks, it is selling for seven. You definitely have a little margin of profit here. And the higher margin of profit means the more money you can potentially make by buying this product. So this is a very hefty thing that you could do. It is easy for you to do and it is one of the best returns on investments that you can do by investing in a good app, getting a smartphone, and always checking the price before you buy the item. Now, the last thing I highly suggest for you to do is to buy from stores that have a return policy that allows you to return the item back. So for example, let's say you bought something, you're trying to sell it on Amazon FBA and it's not selling. You have around 30 days to give it back in most stores. So you're not going to have an excess amount of inventory that you're trying to sell and then a lot of it is not selling. That could happen as well. So you got to pick your products very, very carefully before you start getting a bunch of products and then having issues with inventory management. Inventory management is very important to your success as an Amazon FBA seller. I highly suggest for you to not have a humongous amount of inventory when you're just starting out. It's good to start with very few items and try to get rid of the inventory, even at a break even, just as long as you get rid of it. It is more important for you to be able to go through the inventory and get new ones all the time versus you just keep on gathering inventory, storing it and then not able to sell it. Especially with Amazon FBA, storage fees is going to definitely get your business 
and you're gonna go out of business very very quick here because storage fees is gonna be expensive especially since you're not storing it in your place you're storing it on Amazon itself so I highly suggest for you to do to think it over with the products that you're getting think how fast you're able to sell it and if the item is not selling sometimes it's better to break even or to sell it at a small loss so you can free up more space for products that are selling and making you money. That is the key for you to be successful on Amazon FBA.